What are you gonna shoot on? On that? Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that little guy. Awesome. I don't know. Inspiration is a weird thing because I guess inspiration is, is the part where you sort of wake up from when you're when you're done writing. Uh, so I wouldn't necessarily say there was this thing that happened and then I thought it was a good idea to 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 make a song. It's more like um, I'm making a song and then I kind of feel like I wake up from it and it's been like a couple of hours have gone by. Usually I'm really upset about something. And usually the experience is uh, uncomfortable and it's sort of a it's sort of a uh, it's something that I've gone to and done um, writing songs um, almost to just get by. But yeah, uh, Keep Full Ambitious was um, something that my grandfather said, which sort of felt like it was in the middle of a lot of uh, theological ideas, a lot of Christian, what, what felt like rhetoric and, and sort of uh, general speaking of terms where, you know, it's, a, it's talking about love and not necessarily expressing love. And that's an interesting thing, because my grandfather was a man that would, uh, would say, uh, you know, keep full ambitious, keep, you know, keep, be alive, create your thing, do your thing. And it was that one thing as a kid that, uh, that always sort of stuck with me and made, made it feel like uh, that it was uh, something real was happening, as opposed to a lot of stuff didn't feel real, that felt real. Comfort here. 
I'm like, I mean, I guess it's, it's sort of interesting, uh, 23 hours getting there and one hour being there, um, which is usually how the road feels, although I definitely tend to sort of be there for most of it as often as I can. Um, but yeah, I don't know, being on the road is, being on the road is kind of a necessary evil. Like sometimes it's, uh, it feels like, uh, it feels like all of it is a bit, is a bit crazy and a bit, and a bit much. Um, I, I like being on the road. Um, it does grow tiresome, but it's also, it's also brilliant because there's this wonderful thing that you get to do, which is like, I mean, I've sort of, oh, it's different than tourism. Tourism, you sort of, you go somewhere and you take away from what that is. You go and I'm gonna, I'm take, I gotta, I'm gonna see this, I'm gonna do that. And I'm, don't get me wrong, like, I'm glad people travel and see stuff and do things. It's not about that. It's just, I sort of feel like in traveling with music, there's sort of, there's a part of it that feels like we, we sort of show up, show up in a different town every night and give something to the people, give some, give, give culture to the people. And so it doesn't feel like, um, and so I guess traveling as a musician is a necessary evil, but it, it in itself isn't necessarily so bad. It's just, it's just about getting your head straight about what it is that you're doing and why you're doing it, and being clear about why you're showing up every night to, to, to play. And to, because, I mean, I think it's important. I think it's important to do that, so, yeah. <laughs> Oh my 
working with the Gord Godina trio and playing playing drums in that in that place is about you know playing free and playing um, like like free jazz and playing uh, playing honestly and playing playing relative to all things experiment and all things chaos, um, which I think is is honest, and that music does that. You know, playing with Dan Mangan is like playing drums with that does this thing where it's like. You, you know, these tunes and this body and this work and this honesty and this integrity and this concept, that's like this wonderful, wonderful body of work. And, and, and the crackling to me is, is like one more place where it's like an honest, you know, an honest uh, endeavor. And, and it's not about it being, you know, it's not about it necessarily. I don't know how any of the things really help each other. I mean, really, at the end of the day, it's just about the work of what, people are, the work of what we are, the work of the music, the, work, the honesty, I mean, it's like recording ourselves and playing live, like just like giving of ourselves and having that be an honest experience. And the, the crackling, to me, because it's my songs and because I sing is, I guess, more, more hearken to being close, closer to that vulnerability maybe in a way or, or, or uh, more clearly relative to my own version of that vulnerability. So it's, it's mine to give and, and I, and I want to give it. So, it's, yeah, it's the best way I can put that, I guess. Fell across the ice inside my thoughts like spring The colors of the dress you wore Soon adorned the bedroom floor I could swear I heard the devil sing Most everything except you wouldn't let go of your skin. Don't worry. It's not long, it's not long. That's the thing. 